Welcome to Ask Mr. Cloud. In this video, we'll take a look at how to play games online. There's Chrome. Lots of fun to be had. Lots and lots of games to check out. So in Chrome, I'm going to open a new tab. And oh, they've redone the tab page. Always up to something, those crazy Googlers. So let's look at the web store. All right. Over here, we have the various topics of apps that you can get for your Chrome browser. Go ahead and click Games. Again, this is going to add the games to your new tab. When you click New Tab, your apps. Remember that most visited sites over here and apps over here and there will be additional bars as you add apps. You can have page upon page of applications. So this is a little bit different from the Chrome overview that we had previously. Google's gone and mixed it up on us. But that's okay. All right, let's look at the games. Now, of course, it's going to be different from person to person. Your interests are not the same as my interests. But this is the place where you find all of your games. It may appear that it's a lot of children's games, and that is true. There are a lot of children's games. But there are also a lot of adult games, too. My mom loves her solitaire. She has her solitaire. And that's all she plays, her solitaire. Let's pick Steambird's Survival. It looks like a flight simulator. We'll see. A new tab opens, and there is Steambird's. So let's click it. A lot of these games, they are free games, and they're sponsored by companies you may have to tolerate an ad or two. That's enough Steambirds. Word squared. Add to Chrome. Scrabble-ish. I'm a fierce Scrabble player. A lot of these games you can play with people around the world. You can see there's a vast, vast board. This is crazy. Very interesting. I like that. I'm going to have to keep this one. You need to sign in. In the sign in, then there's no account yet. Sign up now. So you'd sign up and it would keep a record of your scores and you would have a username and I imagine that you can have friends and have people that you can play with regularly if you'd like to. This is more like it. And there are simply thousands of games. Thousands. Oh, look at that. Pong. So as you see, any sort of interest can be satisfied here. And you know that it's going to be pretty safe. There's no shortage of online websites that have games. But you need to be kind of careful about it. You don't just want to go to every crazy game site 
and play games. It can be a source of malware and other buggy bugs for your computer, so be careful. Of course, you can always read the reviews. Details, reviews. And the reviews are a good source of information. You know that if someone has problems, if it causes problems with their computer, they're going to tell you in here. So it doesn't hurt to take a look at the reviews. But the web store is a pretty good source to get your games. And as I mentioned earlier, you can play by yourself. A lot of these games you can play with, with people from around the world. Strangers, you could play with friends. It's a great interactive experience. So use the web store to get your games. I have a favorite. Let's search this for Entanglement. Entanglement is a really, really fun game. Five stars, look at that. So we'll install that. And I'm gonna leave it to you to explore Entanglement for yourself. I suppose this wouldn't be complete without showing you how to get rid of the games that you don't like. Steambirds was less than impressive, in my opinion. So all you have to do, click on the icon, and as you start to drag it, notice in the bottom right, remove from Chrome. So you just bring it right down there and pop it into the trash can. All gone. So have a good time, learn something new, explore the web store, and grab yourself some games. Thank you for watching Ask Mr. Cloud.